Hello guys! We have a next chapter in our adventure. We are going to try some traditional and not so, not so traditional foods that are available in Hungary. So not all of these foods are going to be uh, traditionally Hungarian foods, but we love it and we bought it, so we're going to try it. Since we, you know, we Hungarians love, you know, meat products and everything like that, how about trying some sausage? First and foremost, this is a Gyulai Langol sausage. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit spicy, Langol. Oh, take really? a bite, take a bite, yeah. Okay, I smell first. Mm. Good quality, smoked, pure meat. Wow, mm. this is my first time. It's more yummy, juicy compared to the Spanish, sorry. Spanish one, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next one is big salami. Okay, so those of you who don't know, this is a traditional Hungarian brand and we're really proud of it. It's really greasy by the way, so you know, prepare something you guys to clean your hands afterwards, but it's okay for now, we're just testing out. <laughs> okay, now, three, two, one, one go. go! What do you think, which one is better? That one. The other one. Langot Maybe because <laughs> it's a little greasy. Too gr greasy for you, yeah, yeah. that's true. The next on the list is unicum or unicum, the way we call it in Hungary. This is again, this is a traditional <laughs> Hungarian, let's just say like, we call it medicine, you know? Yeah, actually so I like, thought it's some ointment. Yeah, sort of like this. It's been in production since 1790 wow. in Budapest. It's made by the Tzok manufacturing dynasty. Even to this day, this is a, we call it Hungary kum, basically. So, is this good for the health? We're no. gonna find out. <laughs> pretty strong, so pretty strong, so careful with this guys. Okay. A lot of medicines, uh, herbs inside. I don't mm. even know. There's a lot of those alcohol, 40 30 percent alcohol. So cheers guys. Cheers, mate. Hmm. So from a standpoint of a Filipino, do you like it? No. Based on, no, no, it's too strong for you. Oh, I can feel it's like burning your throat, yeah. Yeah, even my tongue. Okay guys, so, so to be honest with you, eh, we are supposed to cool down this one. So when it's cold, it's not as strong as it is otherwise. So anyway, <laughs> we are moving on. Next. We got this lovely guy here. So guys, this is a linzer. So I know it's not traditionally Hungarian, however, I love it. It's I think it's from Austria or like some German speaking country. But we just we just in love with this kind of sweet. It, it's sort of like you can have it everywhere, pretty much. Take one. Mm. Like a butter cookie. Mm -hmm. The next one on the list is a traditional sport chocolate. This is a traditional Hungarian snack. 42 grams. Back in the days, this sport bar been sold, you know, as a food supplement, sort of like. Ooh. So it for it's designed for people who are doing, you know, physical activity, like on a like running or like is on a track maybe. And therefore, it's, it's densely packed with calories, and this is. Even today, this is the name Sports Salad. That was the marketing, of course, but it's just a regular chocolate. <laughs> Tasty. I don't like it's um, room slash coconut flavor, if I'm you're sorry. asking me. All right, guys, so the next one, again, a Balaton chocolate. You know, Balaton is the biggest lake in Europe, basically. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. Balaton is the biggest lake in Europe. Located in Hungary. Located in Hungary, very important. I and the chocolate, therefore, is named after the lake, or vice versa, I'm not sure exactly. Anyway, the Romans know. If you ask any <laughs> Roman soldiers, they may have, might be able to get, tell you. That's it, Filipino approved. <laughs> okay, so the next one on the list is a free bit. Free bit. I am not sure if this chocolate in particular is from Hungary, but I have this since my childhood, basically. I was eating this, you know, in prime, in elementary school. But let's go, try it. I like it. It's like a cooking side, right? 
Oh, it's nice. I will finish that later. We're gonna have to drink something because we got really thirsty now. And what will be better than a Shio? So what's that? Um, that's also a Hungarian brand. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is a um, like peach. Okay. We have different different sort of peaches in in Hungary. Okay. And they all have a different name and all have different taste. You know. So they all kind of a little bit different from each other. Mm. This is the original, the original taste, the original flavor. I'm ready for the next. Ready for the next? Okay, love. You want to choose one? This Pick one. one. Pick one. This is Pilota. Wow, from from the city of Győr. Okay, so there's a company called Győri Édes. So back in the days, that was the name Győri Édes. So, mm -hmm. so meaning uh, sweets from the city of Győr, basically. And I used to eat that one when I was a kid, like eh, almost every single day. That was like basically two or three variations, you know, and and one more of course as a traditional one, uh, and they innovated you know, throughout the years and they introduced more and more products eventually. So we're gonna try out one. As a Filipino yourself, did you ever try the similar similar sweets like this in your country? Do you have something similar in the Philippines, for example? Yes. Of course, but especially the waffle. Oh, really? That that one, the yeah, bottle, yeah. bottle chocolate. Okay. But this one sounds pretty. Sounds unique. Sounds unique. Yeah, I never seen it anywhere else in the world, actually. If something not broken, don't fix it. Simple as that, guys. Don't fix it if it's not broken. So the next one is also from the same brand, Pilota. Top. Um, this is exactly the same thing I used to eat as a kid as well every morning. And in this case, this is also a peach, peach jam filled. Strike. Let's see if the see if it's still the same taste as when I was a kid. Mm, it's fluffy. Fluffy, yeah. Well, I come to the conclusion that the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> same. Same flavor. Same flavor. So the next one on the list. Again, another product from this guy. It's like a Hungarian Oreo, basically. It's very, very famous in Hungary. Everybody knows about it. And it was way before the Oreo ever, ever existed. I, I didn't even know about Oreo until the 2010s, maybe, or something like that. So this is a little bit uh, different. So you got this little cookie, and you got the filler in the middle, and it's uh, crunchy. Got it up? Same, same as Oreo, basically, but different, different, different taste, different tex texture, of course, but the same principles. Mm. You know what? Pelota pada. It's nice for your breakfast. Mm. With coffee, no? Mm. Okay. So the next one is Malenka. You can buy this as a, as a cake. You can buy this as a chocolate bar. It's really different. It's, I believe it's from uh, Czechoslovakia or, you know, that's how they used to be back in the days. Now it's uh, either Czech Republic or Slovakia. We don't, we don't know exactly where it's, where it's coming from, but from somewhere from that region. So long story short, this is used to be like a traditional sort of like a cake over there. And they, they managed to manufacture, you know, like chocolate, kind of chocolate bars out of it. Yeah. And this how it looks like it's very fluffy, creamy inside, you know. Flawless. Nothing changed. Still love it. <laughs> okay, so the last one on the list is something salty, just for the sake of <laughs> diversity. Okay, so we got this company called Modi. Uh, I could say, if I want to translate, it's like uh, nuts. It means like nut, nutty, nuts, something like that. It's also based in Hungary, and they have this product called the Mexicorn, which I used to consume as a kid, you know, as a teenager, especially watching the Shrek movies, for example, with my with my uncle. Is the one introduced me to this product. Like they have a barbecue flavor, they have a lot of different flavorings in Hungary. Um, maybe it's not how I'm supposed to open, but anyways, you guys wanna forgive me for that. So it's like roasted corns, corn flakes inside. Ooh. We have and, and, and you must have a good tea to chew this one because it's a little bit, you know, it's, it's crunchy. So 
I remember my grandma used to struggle, you know, chewing these because it's uh, <laughs> a bit tough to chew. So, but this is just a general salty one. like boy bawang in the Philippines. Boy bawang, what's that? Is that a similar yes, product like this? Yes. Mm. Well, that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed. We try to make as fun and quick as possible. So if you would like to buy any Hungarian product, just visit your local Hungarian store and you know, the choice is yours, whatever. I recommend you to buy our drinks, you know, the alcohol, the, the sweets, the, the meat products, anything basically. It's, yeah. a, it's amazing, yeah. The sausage. Yeah. Or oh, sausage, of course. Like Hungarian that. sausage famous in the world for a reason. Bye bye! bye, -bye. <laughs>